So him blocking it is the blessing. Amen. Oh, Lord, not doing Black History Month. Don't piss me off doing Black History Month. pulling it out your behind lately, and you've been eating. You hear me? Because aggression meets aggression. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what? Is this real? She's a lifesaver. And they good to me, so. Everybody want to go where you going until they find out the cost. Until they find out what you lost for it. Hello family, welcome back to another weekend vlog. This is my side of the tube of you where I share a little of my life a lot of the time. Amen. So today, as you guys know from the last vlog, if you watched it, it is content day. It's a photo shoot day. I'm just doing one look, something really quick, like 30 minutes. Everybody was able to squeeze me in. Thankfully, Jasmine. Thankfully, Keisha. So um, I don't have enough. My makeup starts at 10. It's currently 8. Um, 23, y'all. Why did I jump out the bed at like right at 702? Thinking I overstepped the makeup appointment. I was like, because the sun was all out. I was like, <gasps> but I didn't. And I'm so used to having early morning makeup appointments. And y'all know I don't like being late. And I just feel like I be just hyperventilating about that. Sometimes about being late, like to no, no exaggeration. Especially when I stay up so late. So if y'all watched the last vlog, y'all know I didn't go to bed until after 3 o'clock in the morning. Which was, I mean, technically I took a nap that day. So it kind of evened out. But I was still kind of tired. So, um... And y'all, I thought my cycle was here. She wasn't here today, but she gone. she's probably going to be here tomorrow. It just feels like that. But I'm also thankful because I'm like, God, you know better than what I know. So, you know, just do all my preparation that I need to do. Y'all, let me tell y'all, though, I've been using, hold on. I used, oh, my God, today. I used these, this right here, these might all heat patches they say you want to put some sleep in them don't be like me i slept in them so at first when i put it on no lie it was not warming up i'm just like what the heck but baby after so long maybe like maybe 30 to 45 minutes that thing was hot and i can tell that if i'm on my cycle this is going to help alleviate some cramps and you're not supposed to put it directly on your skin when you get it read the directions and make sure you follow them but i'll tell you what don't put it on your skin is what it says. And I put it on the outside of my underwear. If you got a tank top, you can put it on the outside of that. It worked for me. I looked at the reviews and they was like, it didn't get hot. It didn't, it, it didn't, like, of course it didn't burn you because it's not directly to your skin. But there was, there was heat down there. When I would touch down there on, on top of it, I'm like, oh, wow. And so I literally just took that off. Um, so not too long ago. And again, this is, it's not on your underwear or anything like that. So I'll show you. And it's still hot. And I just literally place this you can place this on your i guess he had to go out child i'm sick of his barking i'm not playing anyway so last night lavelle we stayed on the phone that's what i was on the phone with too last night um well this morning so he helped me get through that edit y'all because i was struggling i was struggling because i thought my cycle was coming down so i'm just getting this 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 don't want to do nothing just gets over me i'm talking fast because i gotta get some stuff together anyway he put the look together, so I'm going to wear the, the y'all saw the the dress from the boutique, and then Lavelle wants me to wear the gloves with this and the boots, and I'm like, I'm they're gonna be sick of me in my boots. He was like, we didn't wear out other shoes before. It's okay, like that's what we that's what I want you to wear. Like that's the look. So again, as y'all know, any look, all of that stuff, it comes from Lavelle. So we're gonna do that, um, and then I'm of course about to get my makeup done. Oh. Told y'all Chastity was going to recurl my hair. I need her to do that because bas basically this hair is just flat under this. It's just flat. Um, so I'm going to pack my clamps, pack my tripod. Thankfully, I don't even have to put my press-ons on because I'm wearing gloves. So that works because <laughs> I always, I feel like I'm last minute trying to. Like, girl. <laughs> so that, that's perfect. So literally, I. I'm good. I'm probably just going to put my clothes on at Chastity House. I'm probably just going to throw on something real quick to go get my makeup done. And yeah, I'll probably get the moving around here around. Um, I'm going to give myself some time. So I'm going to leave here around like 9.15. And yeah, this is my Saturday morning, y'all. I'm so happy because, uh, God, like sometimes on the weekend vlogs, it's not interesting. I'm not really doing much because y'all know I don't really do much. But I, I feel like y'all have been enjoying the vlogs. And I feel like... I don't know who was that Miss Queen D. She commented and said that I be doing. I'm so busy and productive. I'm like y'all think so. Um, I guess I be like in this house. I am, but 
Ciao. So, um, like I said, I'm excited about today to get this little shoe over with really quickly. It's how we end in our Black History Month with a Black-owned African store. Like, and fun fact, y'all, um, I was just telling my friend this, my aunts used to wear the Ankara fabric. fabric. This is with Brittany. I, I have a friend. Her name is Brittany. She's Nigerian. And she... um. She told me, I don't know if she wanted me to call her Nigerian American or that's what it's called, the Ankara fabric. And my aunts used to wear it. Like when I grew up, that was their attire. I'm telling you, that's what they wore all the time. So I just feel like, okay, I got a little way to, uh, he, he had to that's why he was doing it, y'all, because he had to go handle his business. I understand, but, but, but um, yeah, so I just, I, I kind of feel like them a little bit. No. Cause he trying to run around and you going in that cage. Y'all, he got under my bed and it was some cantaloupe or something. I don't even know how he got it. Yeah. Anyway, so doing all that. And then what I'm going to do is come home and just get some content. Like, you know, makeup going to be done. So get the content um, when I get home. So that's the plan. So I'm going to straighten up in here actually. Cause my highest self would not go back in here and lay down. You're not tired. You done uploaded this video, then put it on YouTube and all that. Get this kitchen together just a little bit. Uh, it's 8 30 okay yeah just set a little timer that's funny because i'm only doing one look you know what i'm saying i don't need much i already got everything i need with the look it's already out so it's not even that i gotta strip like i'm about to be stressed about that because i'm not so um i need to take this box down y'all been seeing this box i've been saying i'm gonna take it down y'all pray for your sister honey anything that feel like hard labor i don't be quick to do it at all Anyway, let me get this stuff together and I'll just holler at y'all later. Hi guys, so I said I wanted to be gone by 9.15. It's currently 9.20. Hopefully the traffic not too bad so I can make it. Y'all see my hair is straight around my clamps and stuff. So I'm excited to get this together. I got my curl around too, just in case. Like you just never know. I know Chastity gonna come through, but again, anything can happen and you have to do your own stuff yourself. You need to be prepared. That's what we're doing. Headed to jazz. I'm about to listen to my music. Hey, y'all. So, I'm here. It's 9.56, so I made it on time. Just put on some roll on. Or whatever. Chastity ain't takes me back, Lord. She may not be available. We don't know. I may have to curl my hair myself. It's okay. Either way, it is okay. Um, okay, let me walk in here. This day that God has given me, I'm not gonna waste this joy deep down inside me. I'm not gonna shake, been stressed for so long, so stuck in my own way. So I'll enjoy this moment, it's the day that the Lord has made. Makeup is done, you already know my girl, Jazz Indigo Hills Beauty. Y'all, I'm in McDonald's. I'm really at McDonald's to get a napkin, but I'm just gonna get a fry while I'm here, right? A little french fry. The thing is, Chastity's not ready for me right now, so my shoot isn't until 3.15 downtown, and she lives. I'm gonna have to do the distance thing, but at least if she, I can be done with her by 2.30, I could for sure make it on time. Um, so I'm about to get a fry and respond to y'all's YouTube comments from the drop today, and then try to kind of watch a YouTube yeah, I need to watch. I need to find my notes. I be taking notes. I, t I lost my notes for Courtney vlog. I don't know where they at, y'all. Um, but yeah, I need to do that so I can engage and stuff. But the makeup, let's be very clear. Them brows, don't play with them. Don't play with them. Okay, so yeah. I was like, what is they doing? Again, I don't want to miss this lipstick up. It's something I can place in my mouth. No. How can I help you? May I have a large fry, please, with no salt and two barbecue sauces? You say a large what? A large French fry, please, with no salt. Two barbecue sauce? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Y'all, when I do my first giveaway, I'm going to do what's Carmi McDonald's order. I'm just letting y'all know because we're doing a giveaway at 1K. We're doing a giveaway at 1K. Y'all don't get this wrong. Y'all that's here now, cause we gonna continue to grow. Don't get this wrong, baby. Oh, <gasps> wait, what? Is this real? Ah! Oh my gosh! Hold on, wait, uh, y'all. This brand 
man. I've been wanting to work. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. Wait. Oh. Hi. Okay. How you doing today? There you go. Hi. I'm about to cry. Thank you. You too. I'm trying to email bit by somebody in line. Hold on, Carmen. You can't be like that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, can you put number one? Yes, okay. Is there a way that I can have extra napkins and pepper? Okay, Pepper, thank you. Like oh, thank you. <laughs> Jazz, I'm getting you client. I'm getting, I'm finna bring you some more clients, girl, okay? Finna bring the McDonald's crew. <laughs> oh my God, y'all for the scream. I can't, I had to check the email and make sure it was real. Oh my God. I think this is right. It'll, I feel like it is. Oh my God, I wish I could say something. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm happy. I hope they bring my napkins and pepper and my barbecue sauce because it's only going to be hard on you if you got to run back in there and come back out here. It's only going to be like, it's only going to be hard on you if that's what you got to do. It's only, you just, you, you may as well listen. Hey y'all, so makeup done. That's why I asked for some extra napkins so I can like get my eyes together for sure. Oh, oh I look so pretty. I love it. Thank you, Jerry. She always hooks me up. It's my girl. I'm not used to getting correspondence from a brand on a weekend. That's what was the first thing that kind of was like, I mean, is this real? No salt, no salt. And then I had two barbecue sauces, pepper and pepper. No, I don't see pepper. You gonna get it? Okay, thank you. I forgot to ask for the pepper at the window. Cause more than likely, more than likely, you'll remember the you'll remember the sauce for you. Ooh, almost got that in the bed. You remember the sauce before you remember pepper. He brought the whole. It's so crazy because he brought the whole thing out of sauces. Like, but Mama need pepper. Mama need her pepper. I'm gonna go by the hair store. I'm just really trying to kill time until Chastity texts me. Thank you so much. Oh, pepper? Oh, yeah, just that. Thank you. All right. I don't need no more sauces, baby. It's just something about pepper on fries. Y'all, get my order. I'm telling y'all, y'all that's watching, y'all clearly the loyal, y'all y'all heard. Get this right, y'all, for real. What is my order? Get it down all the way to, to, the, the, to, to the sauces and the condiments and stuff. I want y'all to win. Mm -hmm. All right, talk to y'all later. So I've never been over here, but there's a beauty supply store that I looked up, and this looks pretty big. Jenny Beauty Supply. She wasn't even looking, Lord, and I'm vlogging. Jenny Beauty Supply. 
go in here. Y'all, we need more black on beauty supplies. I'm just gonna say that. And I don't know that this one is not. Actually, I've been here probably once before. <laughs> Excuse me, because you don't be just that many beauty supplies just nowhere. But I've been here once before, I believe. I think there's like a Tuesday mornings or something over here, or some other store. I feel like I went inside. Losses. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> ain't no, that ain't over here. But I feel like I've been inside here. Let's go. So we're going in here. Oh, he's big for her. Okay, Empire Hair. No lie, this this beauty supply made me feel like I'm back in Arkansas. I ain't gonna lie, Black Mecca. I don't know what side of town town I'm on, but the Black folks is here. Okay, the Black folks is here. Y'all, let me tell you, it's so funny because this um. <laughs> when I was walking in, there's this guy. <laughs> he was like next door or whatever. And then when I walked down, girl, uh, I'm saying girl like I'm really on FaceTime. Girl, try to walk, baby. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, good. I'm checking my, my surroundings, making sure he ain't behind me. Like, don't be waiting on me now. Don't be scaring me. Y'all don't know. Anyway, I had to get like comb, or eyebrow razor, like stuff like that. Um, so now I'm just gonna try to go closer to Chastity so I can be available. I can be. With you hear me? I hear you, honey. I'm a jam, girl. <laughs> you can roll your little eyes if you want to, Tweety Bird. <laughs> Tweety Bird? Why am I Tweety Bird? Cause I'm cute. Didn't Tweety Bird think she, didn't Tweety Bird think she was cute? I can't remember. She thought she was something. <laughs> she did. I think she was the one that thought she was cute. I don't know how she thought that. Baby, we was on that phone, wasn't we? You, what, what? you helped me get that video up. I ain't gonna lie to you. Cause I'm telling you, I had not the strength on my own. Nobody wanna have church, but when God blocks some. That means he didn't want it to be so. Amen. Oh my God. So him blocking it is the blessing. Amen. I didn't do that. Okay. Uh, 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 listen, he didn't let it be so. I heard a songwriter Ooh. say, God blocked it. He wouldn't let it. He wouldn't. Ooh. He would not let you. You you worried about this failed relationship. You worried about this failed job. This fail Oh, I gotta tell you. Tell me why I got an email from I've been trying to work with this brand. Okay, story time. So this is editing Carmi. If y'all didn't know, when I moved to Texas, Lavelle and I were roommates. So we are retelling a story because we just thought about it when this guy that lived in our old apartment complex kept coming up to my car, basically trying to figure out what I was doing at the apartment complex. Because when I would take phone calls, I would take them, like I would ride around in my car type of vibe. And Lavelle, he wouldn't be home during this time or whatever. Anyway, I just kind of want to let y'all know this is a story we've been telling. I didn't preface it before we started talking about it, but I did want to let y'all know and forgive Lavelle if he slipped out any language, y'all. All right. Because why was he following me anyway, Lavelle? Why? I'm trying to parole you, baby. And you know, I remember I called you because you was out of town so much. Remember, you weren't home. And so I was calling you. I was like, Lavelle, I'm telling you, there's somebody following me. You was like, oh, girl. Oh, girl, that day when we came home and baby, I said, there he goes. Watch, there it is. You was like, okay. I drove to that doggone nail shop and he came up behind that car looking at that license plate. You swung that door open, Lavelle. Hold on, bro. Hold on. You said, you don't know what we got going on up in here. He was like, I mean, I could say the same for me. You said, no, you don't need to be walking up on her car. I said, oh my, I just was thinking, I had to put the car in park. I had it recorded, I don't have it no more. I just said, Lord, cause I know you always be like, Carmen, you just call the police or you just do this. But I ain't gonna let nobody hit me, Lavelle. No, I'm still mad about that, I should've hit him. No, but I always say, when you working it, I let you work it, but I'm going to get, you, I'm sorry, that's like hitting my blood, honey. You're not gonna be able to hit nobody. You ain't gonna be able to do it. So when I put that car in park, honey, I was just like, 
cool. I just kind of was breathing in and out because I'm like, Lord, I'm going to have to hop out of here so fast. It ain't going to make no sense. It's stupid ass. <laughs> I mean, it didn't did have... Damn, I should have. He didn't even have no rhyme or reason, Lavelle. He had... You was like, what's like... He was saying, oh, because I had Arkansas tags. He was like, "I we this neighborhood, we all know each other. We a family, so I have to make sure... Oh, because you know what I used to do? I used to ride around the neighborhood and talk on the phone in my car. So he didn't like that. But that was my way of getting out the house. Maybe he wasn't understanding the work from home. You did that outside of the gate. Oh, yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. What you so mean? You talking about you watching her from your back. And his balcony was on the other side, I thought. It was. It was on the other side. So he just sitting in his car looking looking for something no 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 his balcony was facing us it was facing us it was facing the outside yeah he was like yeah he was like yeah he was like my kids live here why are you coming up on me like that well, when you when you cut the fool in new york on the uber i was like yeah papa because me and lavelle you know we had got into it that morning or whatever and i said i didn't know if lavelle was playing when he texted me like he had to hit the uber driver I was like, but he had to, and then, and then when that, with that situation with that man, and my papa told me, he said, you always got Lavelle doing stuff for you. You ain't never doing nothing for him. He said, I ain't never fighting my own battles. I said, well, I shouldn't have to do that if Lavelle was around, baby. Because I said, they respect, people respect Lavelle a little. If he's with me, I don't have to deal with that. The only reason why that man was doing that for that, he did that at least five days consecutively over a span of like two weeks though because you had to been i don't know if you was in cali i don't know if you was in arkansas but you were gone for like periods of time you know how you do similar to what you're doing right now <laughs> you know how you do you get on your your wandering a uh, uh, strike honey and you get the wandering and i'm like i'm telling you lavelle this man is following me and he had nothing to say but i'm i we gotta make sure it's safe i have kids here you said, man, don't be rolling up on here. You don't know what we got. And I was like, ooh, Lavelle, don't say that. He may pull out something. Yeah, me. <laughs> that, and then when you get in that mood, I just be like, oh. When you, yeah, when you get like that, I just be like, really? I just be. No, I should have hit him. I'm so mad about that. I didn't hit him. I'm, no, I'm glad you didn't hit him. You shouldn't have hit him. He gave you no reason to hit him. He really did. Yeah. No. Now, to some people, they would say walking up on me is the reason. Yeah, that was more than enough reason. No, know we Christians. We Christians, baby. We know. We knew what. We know when danger no, starts. No, no, no. You ain't putting that Christian on me. <laughs> You're not doing this. Oh wait. So you change religions or what? Which one? Because no, no Well, you say don't put Christian on you. No, but it's funny because that's what, you know, when Peter was acting crazy and stuff like that in the Bible, the Lord had to tell and cutting folks' ear off. The Lord told, hey, get thee behind me. You got, you, you acting like, you letting that satanic side of you come out. Don't do that. Don't you know if I wanted to rage war with these people, I could. But we be thinking we know better. I was glad you didn't put yeah. you. Yeah. I was glad. I you, no, no. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was glad you didn't put your hands on that man because actually I was glad that he wasn't as a because one time when he stopped me at the car he was even more aggressive than he was when you were with me so I was glad that he also wasn't aggressive because aggression meets aggression you know what I'm saying and because you thought this was a myth of my imagination for so long and then when it happened it's just time to act you know what I'm saying it was just time for us to, to do it I was like well yeah it was just time for us to do it I wonder if he still stay there. I stop, stop. Yeah, Mr. Patrol, <laughs> he probably do. Mr. Patrol oh, probably do. Huh? He probably, she probably doing all the work. Who? Going to work and he just probably sitting his ass at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, and honestly, yeah, yeah, sir. You, 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 it, it's yeah, not. I'm going back over there. <laughs> stop I'm it. Come in town. I'm going to look for him. Take Benji with you, too. Take him over there, Benji. Benji will give him a, he'll give him a good run, honey. Benji will bark. He'll give me, he'll help me lower him in. You had the wrong idea and you had the right person. Cause when Lavelle, when he saw you, ooh, when he saw you come up, because you know, oh, cause I was about to reverse. I think, cause I had the reverse car. And, and, and we saw him. And when you saw how close he, you said, uh, 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 no, uh. 
You, Lavelle, that door swung open so fast. I wish I still had the video. I remember showing my papa. That door swung open so fast. I said, oh, hell, I parked that car so quick. I said, baby, because I got to be ready to get up out of here. When you said, you don't know what we got, and then he tried to do the whole, you don't know what we got. You, you want to be, oh, Lord, not doing Black History Month. Don't piss me off doing Black History Month. Don't do it. Don't. Sorry. We can roll up on them. That's all I'm saying. I still want that match. I still want it. I still want it. No, Lavelle. We, we, yeah. who? Yeah. I'm telling it is something to bring it up. When you bring it up, you do kind of get a little rowdy. Like, you do kind of get a little rowdy because I think about how many times he pestered me before you even came. And I'm just like, oh, he would come, he would walk outside of the gate. I would be parked, you know, the the shopping center is right in front of our apartment. I would be parked in one of the random, it would. Four corners don't own nothing outside of them gates. And you don't own nothing outside <laughs> When I tell you, he literally would come pester me. I'm like, okay. I think one of them times I was on the phone with Brittany. And I was, this was a day where I just, we was just having a real deep conversation. I didn't feel like stopping the conversation. So I just drove off from him. So, <laughs> I just drove. So I'm at Chastity's. She's a lifesaver. She's a lifesaver. Who curls ain't gonna be crispy? Not mine. I'm a little late, and Keisha told me to be early. She told me you need to be a little early. It's okay, we're gonna get there. I keep looking down at my nails, freaking out because I keep forgetting. Did I bring a speak light? Bra showing. I actually like the hair like this. I really do. Like, I feel like with this outfit. Okay, y'all. So, what we were supposed to be doing is taking pictures with the clamp, but one of the clamps just came out. So, I'm going to see if I can try to clamp it back. it up it don't even matter like it really don't matter we feel like for this look it was gonna look cute if it's like clamped like that type of vibe i don't know. something yes my bra i'm probably gonna have to bleep it out because my breast my breast is Busting out the seams, but hold on. So, this is commitment, y'all, because when I tell you, I am so self conscious about my chest right now and my bra, but there's literally like no give. I'm just gonna have to get it just right. Like, this is okay. Like, that's perfect. Put these gloves on. Because Keisha is over there. The only thing is, when I unclamp my hair, more than likely I may have to take these gloves back off. Lavelle, do you see what I go through with these gloves? The Lord is gonna send help really soon, okay? Cause now I gotta carry. There's so many people down here. You ready? Okay, here I come.
Okay. You kind of see what I was saying with the hair, like how with this fit, it kind of makes it look, I don't know, you know? We can do both. Okay, we can do I'm both. Okay. Okay, I'm yeah. probably like four minutes because these gloves, I'm no, not gonna be able to go fast. I gotta take them off. Okay. Yes. And please. remind me to send the video. Yes, I, I would love to get I would love to get yeah, you can do this video and I'll do YouTube. Okay, y'all. So yeah, this is what we do. <laughs> it's okay. Snatch these clamps out because it's so hot, the curls probably would have failed. So, but it turns out I may even like the ones with the pins, and this was an accident. That's so crazy. The same person did your hair? Yeah, the same girl. Um, she's she she's, told me, I think she, she did the last, the swoop bang. Yeah. I went I to think the last time that we we um, took uh, for the mattress. Okay, yeah, yeah she did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She lives so close to here, and I was asking her. I was like, "Is it okay if you can recurl my hair?" Yeah, um, your hair uh, look amazing. Thank you. I was telling her that I can't curl. Bill, when I called him, you know, he my stylist. He was like, "Just leave the pins." He was like, "That looks good," because he wanted me to do an updo with this dress, but it was just too late. So it's three months like this. Don't last this entire shoot in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to see. Okay, cool. I was thinking just like a. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I like to explore. Yeah, may as well. Oh, I know. I know what I think I want. Okay. But I'm using this, yeah. But maybe like. Oh, yeah. Like maybe with you standing here. Okay, sure. Like something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hey, you guys. So we're ending Black History Month with Doma Fashion Boutique in Dallas, Texas. They're an African clothing store. That's what we may know it by, but the proper name is Anfra Fabric, and that's what I have on today. I'm super excited. They've been so graceful. And as a part of Black History Month, it's important for me to also partner with black on brands because your girl is black. Amen. So I love you, Yoma. Thank you so much for your support. And this dress will be worn more than once. See you later. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go. In. All black on doing Black History Month. Black woman photographer, black woman makeup artist. It's a great way, I guess, to, to end the month. month. How could you not love Keisha? Y'all, the curls. Oh my God, it came out so good. Let me call a bill. I um, need to, Carmi, you're editing this. Remember to bleep out your chest. Lavelle, when I tell you, brother, when I tell you, oh, hold on, wait. Them pictures ain't on Lavelle with the clips. It looked like I did that on purpose, you hear me? And so, can you tell the difference with my hair? It looks 
looks nice. Thank you, Nana Boo. She added more hair because I told her I was feeling my hair was big. I had her add more hair, bring it all the way around to the front of my head. And I just took, I snatched the clamps out. I was like, because the clamp pictures look so good. I said, well, let me. You fell asleep, Poo Poo. Poo Poo fell asleep. Anyway, when I tell you, Lavelle, you killed. When she said she was like, I know you hot. She said, but them you needed them gloves. She said you did. You need the glasses. And she kept telling, put them glasses back on. I'm like, uh uh, hold on my makeup, baby. You didn't use the gloves. You you think I did all this without them with these? Look at my nails. No, that was the first thing I took off, baby. You don't think that was the first thing that went off? Alf. Baby, you've been pulling it at your behind lately and you've been eating. You hear me? You've been pulling it right behind your behind and you've been eating these looks. Thank you. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I don't know where I am, y'all. Okay, vlogs. So I don't know if I told y'all. I know I did a time lapse when I was at Chastity House, but of course she recurled my hair, but I also went and bought another pack of tracks because when you go longer with hair, the track isn't as thick like they aren't as thick so i needed more hair because i didn't like how it was like when it this is going to eventually go straight because y'all know i can't maintain the curls and i want to make i still want it to be full i don't want it to feel like it's down on my head so lavelle was like you looking like me your head look big type vibes and y'all know i gotta you may not can tell but like as far as the circumference of my head i have a small head so that's like i'm really feeling it like i'm really feeling the hair now like really feeling i appreciate you so much chastity for doing that again for me like i said i can be a client that needs a lot of accommodations but the more the older i'm getting the more i know what i like and what i don't like so thank you child i've been gone all day y'all see what he didn't eat hot oh he's been mad hot dude boy that's mama's boy hey boo boo <laughs> hey boo boy i know you probably gotta pee i'm gonna get you the food hey poo poo Hey, poo poo, mama miss you, bud. All right, let's get you some food. Okay. Okay, so he's about to eat. I'm about to change my clothes so that I can do a video really quick. Okay. I'll forget the bra. And so I can catch the sun. So let me find something to wear. I'm ready to go. I know you ready to go. And I'm trying to get some stuff for NBA playoffs done. So hopefully I can get somebody. So hopefully I can style somebody for the NBA playoffs. Yeah. So, yeah. I've been busy too. Hey y'all, so I'm on the phone with my cousin. I'm about to do my press on. I'm going to put y'all on the time lapse because y'all can't hear what we be talking about. And um, but I just want to let y'all know that that's what I'm doing. I did two videos and now I'm tired. So I'm about to open these press on so that tomorrow when I wake up, I can just start my content and not have to worry about it. Oh, I forgot to show y'all. So I ordered, so y'all know the, what is it called? The Apple uh, headphone dupes. I ordered these from Amazon and they had mixed reviews, but trust me when I say it definitely has noise cancellation and it's loud enough for me. So I like them. I like the aesthetic of it. I wasn't finna pay for the, what you call it? The AirPods or whatever it's called. So I'll link these below if y'all want them, but I'm definitely gonna be wearing these. I got on makeup, so I haven't been trying to really put it on, but I did try it. I put a makeup wipe and they good to me. So we'll see how long they last. I don't really need much. Like I said, y'all know I use my, the string earphones, but these are gonna be for the gym. So I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny No longer blinded I can feel I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you it's more like a mist to me it's not 
it's not like my milk hydro group. It's I'm like, dang. So Dude, I'm like, I wanted the milk hydro group, then I kept hearing so many mixed reviews on it. I love that milk hydro and I mix it with my um one size. So I do the milk hydro group and then I set I mean I put it in place with that one size. That's what works for me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy me some old one size because I feel like they 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 T bone me with the, the the small one that I had because I only got to use it three times and it was gone. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to get the big one. That's how that I air, so I can't feel like it was empty when I got it. And you don't even wear makeup like this, so you should have been able to right. use it. Right, I should have been able to have that small one at least for a while. Someone told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God. I want to go to Cali way. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way. Close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel Okay, y'all, so I was on the phone, so I couldn't tell y'all, but I just went to Wingstop to get a large order of fries. <laughs> I was already eating something on the way here. About to wash my hands and finish them up. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. It is 7.44. I've been up since about 7 o'clock feeding my dog. I am planning to go to church in person today. I can tell my cycle is coming because I don't ever have stuff like this on my face. But anyway, hold on. Ooh, child, I was looking for my robe and forgot I washed it. Needed to put it in the dryer from when I got that makeup on it. So I just put it in the dryer. I need that robe. I'm going to need to buy another one or something. But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to church in person. Um, I usually have to leave my house by 10, really, to make it there in decent time to have a seat and all of the things. So, I'll probably get up in about 10 minutes and start getting ready. I already showered and stuff last night. So, just wash my face, brush my teeth, and start putting my makeup on. And, of course, you know, when you got your hair, you gotta leave some time for your hair. Um, more than likely, it's gonna be just straight because... Chad, I can't do them curls, so um, we're going to do that, and we're going to go to church today, Oak, Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship Church with Pastor Dr. Tony Evans, um, so I'm excited about going in person today, so I'll take y'all along. Hey, y'all, so I'm getting ready. I don't want to get makeup on this collar. I already got a little bit on there, so it's already, it's 920, so I need to be hurrying up, y'all, hurrying up. Hope I let this dry down enough. I'm not gonna do lashes or anything. It's gonna take too long. I love this 402 brush by Real Techniques, y'all. It is so great. I need to clean it, but. It does wonders. Happy Sunday, y'all. Hair. And I still got to do my hair, so hopefully I just have to do the do a little curls. I mean, not even that. It don't even matter. Just the top of my hair. This is going to fall. You tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with saying and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you'll leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit telling me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me. Don't mind the stuff on the floor, but this is the fit. I've worn this many times, y'all. I'm running late, didn't know what to wear, so I usually grab this. I put the little navy shoes on. I think I need to just change my... Oh, wait, the navy shoes I ain't really getting. Hold on, y'all. Let me change. Okay, I boarded that mission all the way. I put these little shoes on, a little wedge. I need something I'm going to be comfortable in because I'm going to be late and I'm going to have to walk because I have to park far. So then I just put this purse on. So we ready. Do not wait to get gas the morning of. You will be late. Dang, that pump pinched me, y'all. Baby, I can't even fill up. I ain't got time for this. Y'all, this is why you got to keep a Band-Aid in your trunk. 
I'm trying I'm gonna put this on before I put my sanitizer on. But these are so old. I think I'm gonna put my glasses on too because my eyes are watering. These are so old. It's like how old are you? That gas station took my almost took my finger off. What would I have done without my finger? I mean there's clearly people that don't have them and do very well, so okay. It's 10 away, y'all. Oh god, these glasses are dirty. I didn't even get my granola moving too fast. Was supposed to get my granola bar so I could have something on my stomach. Now I'm be starving. I'm gonna be starving for real. Oh well. Y'all can tell I ain't did this in a while, huh? Anyway, I will catch y'all at church because I'm gonna listen to my music and stuff. Where's my other phone? Okay, got my other phone. All right. one of me what I've learned is that I more than likely have a seat you know because it's easier to accommodate one person than like you know a family or whatever but yeah so I know that these parking lots are probably full so what I usually do is just park all the way at the top like because there's no point of what I used to do when I first started okay let me turn this around okay so when I first started coming I didn't know any better you know I used to try to park in these parking lots at this hour like at this time I would do the u-turn try to get in the parking but usually around the like when it's this close to 11 the parking lots are full so I started to learn like okay well that's taking me time to have to do a u-turn then bust another u to go back up to the parking so I just you know bite the bullet and I just walk sometimes there's shuttles but honestly I've never taken a shuttle it's just I prefer to walk which is why I put those um denim heels on because they're a little smaller but actually i'm glad i put these on because i have a wedge and it's a thicker heel nevertheless i'll probably be walking in during praise and worship like they'll probably just have started which is perfect like i said usually more times than not because it's just one person i'll have a seat so um yeah i'm just gonna merge over here and bust this little right that's all i'm gonna do and park up here at this other little church parking lot Hopefully I'm okay. They got where I usually, this little, where I be parking, they got it blocked off because it's actually another church. And they probably, and they probably know people from Oak Cliff be parking there. Well, oh, this is my little stick. I was looking for you. When I was at the house. Anyway, y'all. Hmm. Okay, I gotta try put all this stuff in this purse. Let me see if I can walk in three minutes. Okay, okay y'all, so it's 11 I'm a little close. I'm a little close. Probably won't make it in there to about 11 or something. I don't know. Wait a minute now, y'all. Hold on. Y'all, I freaking forgot my Bible. Oh my God, how did I forget my Bible? See, this is what I'm saying. This is, you can tell, I, I was not prepared. Honestly, I didn't think I was going in person today. And I'll talk to y'all a little bit about that later on because I haven't been going in person. So I didn't really prepare. And oh God, I don't like that. Okay, y'all, so living on three. And I'm walking up, okay? Walking up. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Your 
identity for their benefit. Whether it's your social security number, your credit card, some other ID, they want to take it, use it, and mess you up because of it. Identity theft has become one of the leading scams of our day. He says, Peter, here's the root. You have compromised your identity in Christ. Peter, I am crucified with Christ. In other words, the root of my identity is my relationship with Jesus Christ as he defines it. That is who I am. Everything else must be subject to that. I am a Christian first. I am a follower of Christ first. Jesus is Lord first. That is the root. I am crucified with Christ. Why? Because to be identified with Christ will often mean a crucifixion. The reasons why we have so much confusion in the culture is people, Christians, these are all Christians in Galatians 2. Christians are being led astray from the truth because people want to satisfy identity. And so we don't have answers and we're perpetually talking questions because there's no final word called the truth, not a truth, not my truth, the truth. And so Paul condemns him, he speaks to him in the midst of this confusion and it can come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. See, one of the truths of the gospel is that Jesus Christ erased the Mason-Dixon line. That the divisions that belong in the culture don't belong in the kingdom. Amen. That the crisis in the culture is not to belong to the people of God because they're operating on the truth, not the changing winds of society. This abandonment of the truth has led to all kinds of chaos and confusion and lack of clarity. It is at the end of this story that Paul quotes Galatians 2.20. I'm crucified with Christ. He's quoting that to Peter. He's saying, Peter, you forgot who you are. You are embarrassing Christ now. This is a Christ issue. I don't care how you were raised, how many people are in your people group, when you rejected Christ in order to satisfy your group to affirm your identity, you have messed with the gospel. You may not go with all the gender views. To be identified with Christ may mean you're out there by yourself, but that's the root of your identity. I am crucified with Christ. Because to be identified with Christ often involves a cross. It involves a crucifixion because there is great gain, but there is some loss. When you're not the most popular anymore, when you're not welcomed anymore, when you're not embraced anymore, when you're not going along with the popular views anymore, there can be a crucifixion. But that's your identity. That's who you are. He says, I am crucified with Christ. But then he says, but nevertheless, I live. Oh. See, your identity in Christ never negates your uniqueness as a human. Nevertheless, I, I'm still me. Paul says, I'm still Jewish. I'm still a man. I'm still me. It's easy to be a Christian this morning. Ain't nobody disagreeing with you. Ain't nobody fussing, cussing, and fighting with you. But when you have to go there with your peeps, 
When you have to go down with people wanting to compromise race or class or culture with your Christian commitment, are you then Christian? Yeah. Or are you what Paul called Peter? A hypocrite. Mm. Let's stand to our feet. Okay, so y'all see folks coming out. So, of course, I got to stop for the crosswalk, but, like, I don't have to be in all of this traffic because I parked so far up. So, it takes a little more on the front end, but on the back end, I love it. Okay, let's get into that word real quick while it's fresh. Let me tell y'all, identity, that was such a great sermon that um, Pastor Evans talked about because I think sometimes even me, I'm such a person that's, like, pro-black. I love black folks. I love being black, and I think sometimes that, I'm not going to lie, I may, of course, I lead with Christ. You know what I'm saying? People know I'm a Christian, but sometimes I am one of them people to be like, baby, I'm black. What's up? And so just understanding that God doesn't want me to not be black. He made me who I am. But to always don't don't put Christian as anything other than first. Like it has to be the point of reference. It has to be every single thing and then everything else after that. So like even in a workplace and stuff, I can remember wanting people to know like I'm black. I'm not conforming. But more than that, you Christian and you aren't conforming. And then you know then you're black and then you're a woman and then all of the other things outside of that so it was just a good and then what i love about dr evans is he challenges you he is such a bible scholar he is so he gonna make you read the story he's not gonna just give you one i never knew that the reason why you know peter i'm sorry paul even said that was because peter was over there eating with the uh was over there eating with the uh galate uh what they call him the the, the the gentiles you know what i'm saying and then he wants to act like he wasn't over there. And then Barnabas, you are a Gentile. And then because P Peter's influence is so strong, you end up getting up from them too. So it's like not only are is what you're doing, uh, Peter, hypocrisy, but you're causing other people to go away from the, you know, knowledge and what the truth is about Christ. And that's not right. And that's why, you know, he says, this is my identity in Christ, you know. And I didn't even think about that. And like Tom, Dr. Evans says, like, you're going to be crucified. You have, like, you can't be a Christian without having crucifixion, without having pain. And yes, there is joy. And yes, there is, you know, great things that there's gain, but there also is pain, right? And so you have to be clear with that. And so, like I said, that's just a Bible story that I'm going to make sure that I read this week for sure. But church was amazing. I'm so glad I went. I'll talk to y'all a little more at the house about why I haven't been going as often, but who I'm just fired up. Okay. That's what, that's why I love going to Oakland. That's why I love Dr. Evans teaching. That's why I purchased his study Bible and why I stand on it so tough. It's because it's not fluff. It's Bible. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. And that's what we need in today's time. So, okay, guys, we're going to just do Slim's chicken for, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Cause I really want a strawberry shake so bad. Y'all, my cycle still ain't came. I really got work to do this week. I was hoping that I would be done with this cycle this weekend. Honestly, you throwing me off. Maybe the Lord didn't want me to be on my cycle for um, the shoot, but it's like, dang, I got things to do. And I don't know what I want because I don't eat here often enough. Can I have an answer your order? Yes, Carmi. That's K A R M as in Mary Y. Carmi. What can I give you? Oh, they got chicken club sandwich. Um, one second. Okay, can I get the. Uh, Can I get the the three and three meal? All right. And I would like those wings to be fried hard, like well done, all flats. And can I have the sauce to be honey barbecue? All right. And once you get the sauce, would you like? The dipping sauce, can I have um, your slim sauce and okay. Yes, and so for the tenders, I want them to just be plain. Okay. And then um, for the drink, can I have a strawberry milkshake, please? Okay. Is there anything else I need to do? Um, no, that's all. Oh, we have Wait. Oh, I'm so sorry. Y'all got fried okra okay. too? Yes, ma'am. Oh, can I have a side of fried okra made uh, fresh? Okay. And okay, that's. So those are fresh every time, please. 
Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That's how gonna be Okay, thank you. Cool. Now, how did it ran up a bag at Slim Chicken, baby? How did it ran up a bag at Slim's? <laughs> she told me they drop fresh every time. You know I'm a chick. You know I'm a chick to see. I can eat my food. And then take my, you know, like, oh, shucks. I gotta get my dog some food. He gonna have to eat some wet kibble tonight. Um, and then I'll, yeah, cause he has no food left, no food. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> can I, can I door dash that or something? Cause I'm not, I cannot stop again, honestly. I'm gonna have to just order. They're gonna have to deliver his food. Not DoorDash. What you call it? Um. What you call it? Walmart pickup. Everybody, everybody wants to know where you going to, cause they wanna come. Where I'm showing you. Yes, they wanna come. Where I'm showing you. Baby, y'all ain't hear Lauren Hill when she said. Let me let y'all listen to it. Cause y'all ain't hear her. Cause they wanna come. Everybody wanna come where I'm showing you. Cause they wanna come. Everybody wants to know where you going to. All of that. Because until they figure out what it costs. Until they find out how much you lost for it. Like everybody wanna do what you're doing. Everybody want to go where you going until they find out the cost, till they find out what you lost for it. That's why I put that on, that clip on my story. Because I was that was the day I worked all day, shot all day, was up all day, doing, you like, so much. I've added so much on my plate since being the creator that I was last year. And it's like everybody want to, y'all y'all want to walk in these shoes, baby. These shoes is, you only knew. If y'all only knew to have, y'all think I tell y'all everything. It's so much that Lord Jesus only God knows, okay? Because it's a lot. It's a lot. Anyway, everybody laughing at my papa. I don't know if y'all caught that in the last vlog, but I put it in there when my papa said that um, I need to be like Risa Tisa, Tessa, Risa Tisa, and, but my video needs to be why I can't get married. Let me, let me let y'all hear him say that. I don't know if y'all caught that. Or maybe y'all just didn't want to respond. Hold on, I'm going to let y'all do it. I don't want y'all to hear me talk. I just kind of brought it up. And I also recorded a sit-down video on this yesterday, which is why it was so easy to know to just throw this on. Listen to this clip. Ciao. Sit up there. You know, who is she married? If you make a video, I can't like you. Ah! 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 No, you didn't. He said, you need to make a video on why you can't get married. Somebody just commented. He was trying to give you content ideas. Funny enough, because at the end of the conversation, he definitely was like, because I was like, Papa, what you trying to say? He was like, I'm trying to help you out. Get you some content ideas. Folks want to know. And I'm like, they do. People do want to know about my relationship life. And it's just like, y'all, it's nothing to tell. Like, when it's something to tell. You had a with being over. Yes. So okay. It's like, there's nothing. To, when it's something to tell. I'm gonna be the first to tell it when it's something to tell. Pro I promise you, like I promise y'all, I promise y'all, y'all ain't gotta worry about it. I'm gonna let you know. But yeah, my papa, like I said, he can he can ask me that. He can talk about it. I understand. I understand his point of view. Like I understand where he's coming from. Some of y'all is some folks, not y'all, cause y'all the community. But some of the other folks, y'all just wanna know just to be nosy. Y'all don't know what time it is. I date like the rest, you know, like most people. It just be failing. I, I'm taking my L's in silent, baby. I don't need y'all know everything going on. Yes, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I don't need y'all know everything going on with me. I don't need y'all know. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell y'all the L's in business, the L's in content. Mm -hmm. May I have some ketchup, please? Yes, okay. Oh, baby, this okra is fresh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You enjoy a good day. You too.
baby let me tell you this oh, oh and this straw this is a nice big straw so you can really get it out hold on y'all I need to just do a video of me cleaning my car. Put my robe down because I'm probably gonna take a nap. But I ordered his food, his dog food with Walmart. So they'll bring that up. And I'm like, I'm gonna take a little nap in there. Look at food like, I know you miss toy today. I know you miss mama today. I know you miss toy today. <laughs> do I gotta pee? Okay, he got a pee pad out. So he should know what to do. What? Hey. Okay, y'all. Big Papa gotta eat. So y'all drop the his stuff in here. I think I wanna do some content with this, so I don't wanna mess this bag up. Okay. Let me be meticulous about this. So I put that in there and mix it with water so it's not too hard on here. It's 501, so. Oh, it's 508, actually. Let me go get Big Papa. Exploitation, you exploited, you tried to, you tried to monetize your, your grandfather that, ain't, that don't seem to be morally right. Papa, I told y'all that. At least I told y'all. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't sign no. Problem. I told y'all I want to get funny clips and exploit y'all for capital gain. Don't y'all want me to get to the money? Uh, like just a little laughy laugh oh nika just commented said my uncle too funny i need to make a video too ain't you engaged nika he ain't talking about you he talking about us single dried up bitties that's what he talking about people like me he think i'm old so he ain't talking about you nika ain't that how you feel papa i'm just old just dried up <laughs> can't get married <laughs> Oh, now I'm not putting for Yeah, I ain't putting forth the effort right now. You know, you know what I'm putting forth the effort towards. Y'all already know what time it is. But anyway, regardless of what, like I said, I'm calling y'all. I got up over almost 5,000 views on Instagram. Let me see how many I got on TikTok. Because you told me that I need to do a series on why they can't I get married. Remember? <laughs> and tomorrow I'm putting it on Facebook. I'm going to say, this y'all pastor? The only reason why I ain't do it today because I know it's Sunday. I don't want to be playing on Sunday. But, oh, trust me, I'm going to say, is this y'all pastor talking to me like that? Somebody said, oh, Pastor Smith. Let me tell let me read you what the folks are saying. Somebody said, oh, Pastor Smith. Hold on. Let me show you what the folks are saying. I'm going to share my screen because you're going you're gonna to trip out about this. I did that series. Okay. Why don't you do? Why you see it? If you know me, you know my papa. For those of you that don't Did you click in there? Yeah. All right, here you go. Why my papa gonna say, you know how that lady did that series on like who she married? Why don't you do why I can't get married? Yes, I'm almost 30. No, I do not have any kids. Listen to you. Listen to this clip. Child. Sit up there. You know, who did she marry? And you make a video. Why oh, can't I get married? Ah! <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, you still think that's funny, Papa, huh? No, not really. You, yeah, you said it. So let me tell you what them folks saying about you. Somebody said, Papa may be on to something. I may need to get on to this, do this idea. Somebody said, it's the way he laughed after he said that. He been sitting on that joke. Somebody said, I almost dropped my phone. Papa may be on to something. Let me hop on this. Somebody said, oh, no, he didn't. Somebody else said, uh, somebody said, tell Papa you got plenty of time. Somebody else said, he said the people want to know. Everybody talking about you. <laughs> Lavelle said, this is why I love Papa, because we stand on business. <laughs> yeah. 
Somebody else said, when I turned 24, my 97-year-old grandma told me I'm too old to have kids. She said, them older folks don't be playing. Somebody else called Jeru. <laughs> they said Jeru. I'm just telling you what the people are saying. I'm telling you. Somebody said, tell your papa you got time. You 30 years is young. I had my son at 34. And he's healthy and he's a young teenager. Oh. So they talk about you, Papa. I'm telling you. Lord, they don't know me. <laughs> I told them not too much now. And then on TikTok, let me see what they said on TikTok. Because they that's a whole different app. Somebody said, nah, now, Papa. I'm offended too. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said wait I thought you was gonna start the series didn't he tell you to do this and then somebody said one thing about them pawpaws they gonna tell a little joke joke <laughs> yeah so they think they think that's funny on tiktok too I said yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put my papa out there on this one they thought they, they think that you so funny I'm gonna show you how you be trying to insult me sometimes <laughs> yeah that's what you said then you pop I got you on video so you can't say you didn't say it <laughs> that's what you that's what you want them to know <laughs> all right then i have to call granny lady when she get up move up all right Ooh, my papa said mind y'all business for y'all that ain't got the nice comments mind your business <laughs> so it's 7 56 and i was sitting there finishing up courtney's vlog and i asked myself what would the highest version of yourself do right now y'all Chastity burned me with the curling eyes, okay? What would the highest version of yourself be doing right now? So, put my hair in a ponytail. I'm about to go into the gym. And guess what? I'm super excited and motivated to go today because I'm going to be in there looking like a real gym girl. Don't, don't mind the shirt. It's wrinkled, but... Uh, oh, I can't hear you. Period. Like, I can't wait. Getting gym girly or not? No one's in the gym, y'all. All to myself. Yes. These headphones are probably loud. They're definitely noise counseling, y'all, for real. Got water on me. It's a good workout. I'm turning red. I ain't no black folks could turn red. <laughs> I'm probably screaming. It's these earphones. If y'all don't think these earphones have noise cancellation, I know I talk loud, but I'm probably talking louder with these earphones on. I cannot hear anything. I promise. I promise. Thank y'all so much for watching another weekend vlog. It's your girl, Carmi B, head of the Carmi B TV committee. And if you like this vlog, if you like my energy, if you like my vibe and you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe. And when you subscribe, comment below, let me know so I can chit chat with you in the comments. And if you've already been here, you already know what to do. Comment and let me know that you were tuning in. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. So let's fight.